This episode is brought to you by Atlassian. Atlassian makes the team collaboration software that powers enterprise businesses around the world, including over 80% of the Fortune 500. With Atlassian's AI-powered software like Jira, Confluence, and Loom, you'll have more time to do the work that matters. In fact, Atlassian customers experience a 25% reduction in project duration per year. Unleash the potential of your team at Atlassian.com. Atlassian. Everyday Cintas service reps help businesses get ready for the workday. They provide freshly laundered workwear delivered every week. Mats, mops, restroom and cleaning supplies. First aid and safety products to help your employees stay safe. They even test and inspect fire extinguishers and emergency lights. Cintas helps keep your business running smoothly. See what Cintas can do for you. Visit Cintas.com. Oh, I'm ready! And get ready for the workday. All right, what's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of the T-Moz Boss Show. In today's episode, I'm back talking on the videos that were wrongfully taken down from my channel. That's I feel like I said taking, taken down from my channel by YouTube themselves. And the thing is, is this, you know, for the longest, I never really understood why. But I feel like that when I sit down and I think about it, I don't want to believe that I've been, like, blacklisted or blackballed or something, whatever they want to call it, from YouTube. I mean, I am still um, capable of uploading videos and stuff, but at times I do feel that I get the worst end of the stick compared to other YouTubers. You know, like, when I look at other YouTubers, I don't see them talking about strikes like how I talk about strikes. I don't see them talking about their videos being demonetized. I feel like at one point in time, a lot of people were talking about their content being demonetized for no reason. But, yeah, it's like, at times, I mean, I sit down and I really think about it. And I'm like, fam, it's either it's either this. YouTube isn't really focused on their system and they're like, hey, whatever happens, happens. And if that's if that's how they're going about things, I hey, look, I don't want to be the person to spread some bad news. But all I'm going to say is that eventually, at some point in time, a website that's going to I wouldn't say it's going to be bigger than YouTube, but it's going to have a good standpoint like YouTube, where meaning that, yeah, they people are going to be posting uh, videos on their platform, too. And it ain't going to be because they can't post on YouTube no more. Like, no, I feel like there are going to be people that are going to see this website and they're going to be like, hey, I want to take an opportunity and a chance with this website. All right. I feel that good things come out of it. So I'm going to take my chance. But yeah, with YouTube, it's either uh, yeah that where it's like they're just not paying attention to their platform or they're picking and choosing who they going to mess with. And I'm like, and the thing is this, it shouldn't be a situation where I have to wait. Like, I, you know, I can't be heard right now where I have 100,000 subscribers. I got to wait until I have 100 million subscribers. And then what? Probably by that time, that's going to be when YouTubers like, oh, the new uh, popularity, I guess, subscriber level you got to have in order to be heard through YouTube. You got to have a billion subscribers. And it's like, bro. If it starts getting to that point, man, I'm like, nah, I, I'm going to have to like go to the YouTube headquarters myself. And I'm like, I'm going to have to speak to a manager, somebody, because I'm like, nah, this is crazy. But anyways, nah, let's overall talk on a try not to laugh challenge that was taken down from my channel. And I mean, at the end of the day, the title does speak for itself. I mean, how many try not to laugh challenges get uploaded on the YouTube till this day? And I, the thing is this, so I guess like, so the title of the video is Try Not To Laugh, Ultimate Pranks Gone Wrong, Funny Pranks Compilation Reaction. Let's just see if any videos along those lines exist. Hold on for a second. Let me put that there because I don't want to lose that tab. If you guys know me, you know I got a gang of tabs and stuff. But anyways, yeah, I mean like, you know, okay, so you don't find that video, but there's a gang of prank videos up on YouTube where it's scare pranks, funny pranks, the funniest pranks. I'm saying like you got a, a gang of prank videos there on YouTube. I mean, I feel like that's how YouTube got a lot of their uh followings by doing prank videos and stuff. I feel like that was the origins of um well, maybe not all videos, but some videos. 
I'm saying you see prank videos left and right on YouTube. So I am going to talk on Try Not To Laugh Challenges and I am going to talk on prank videos because I feel like I know those videos best. But I have been avoiding, unless it's uh, Addict The One, I have been avoiding um, Try Not To Laugh Challenges um, doing them as reaction videos because, yeah, I remember um, even besides that video, there were other Try Not To Laugh Challenges that YouTube did take down from my channel. They either took them down or demonetized them. And I'm thinking to myself, Stuff like fam if you guys know what a try not to laugh all right so just to explain to you guys what a try not to laugh challenge is so pretty much somebody puts together a compilation of a bunch of different clips videos whatever the situation is right but anyways they put together a bunch of different videos and the whole obje objective of the video is to sit there and not laugh at any of the videos that you see now I've been doing Try Not To Laugh challenges for years. And it seemed like it wasn't all the way up until when, yeah, you two were giving me a bunch of different guideline strikes. That's when Try Not To Laugh. Because I think, let me just see real quick. Because I feel like that there was uh, more Try Not To Laugh challenges that they had took down from my channel. But let me check. Try Not To Laugh. Let's just type that up. Might have even been some ones where they were all like, you laugh, you lose. But... Anyways, um, well, there was one that, uh, oh, yeah, from um, Addict the One. There's uh, one that was demonetized. Let me see if I go based on uh, views. So there's been a couple of more that I've seen where they've been uh, demonetized. And one, it's like, yeah, from the uh, from the video game uh, Counter-Strike. Uh, I guess, yeah, it was like a Try Not To Laugh challenge that I reacted to back in 2020. And uh, that was demonetized. Um, is this the same addict? The, I think that might be the same one. But anyways, and then the other one that was demonetized, it was a try not to laugh challenge that I created where it was by this, uh, um, content creator named one influential. And I'm like, if you guys see his videos, I think the only thing that he, uh, does in his videos where it's like, I guess if it might raise YouTube, um, YouTube's concerns, but at the same time, I'm like, YouTube, do you know how many content that you guys have on your platform where, uh, cursing is involved in that content? So if you guys are demonetizing the video for that reason, fam, take a good look at your guys's, um, platform. Literally. Literally, you let me just see if I can find the video in the trending section. I'm not gonna play the video out loud, but I am going to see if they got a video in the trending section, whether it's a music video, something. Tyler the Creator, uh, he has like a song out called Noid. Let me just look up the Tyler the Creator, uh, Noid lyrics genius.com. Okay, I don't know if this is a rap song or whatever, but anyways um okay i'm looking through the lyrics not really seeing nothing dang he and this a long time oh no yeah there there is explicit um well yeah at the um i'm pretty sure there's explicit words i probably just missed them all throughout the song but uh well yeah so he does so at one point um in the song he says the n-word he says the f-word uh where's some so i'm saying like okay there's two songs right there or there are two uh words right there but you guys have that at the top of your trending section let's just see some other videos they have on the trending section where i'm like i imagine lil yachty i imagine um he probably got some curse for a couple of songs three songs on this uh on the, the trending section and i imagine each of them songs got some curse words in it Let's see some other ones. Even if we're not even talking curse words and we're just overall talking on explicit content, I'm saying you guys got a boxing um event. No, this is UFC. No, I don't think that's UFC. I think it's just like some sort of like MMA, but it's like you guys got that on the trending section. So I'm saying it's like you guys got a lot of explicit content on your guys' platform. Okay, yeah, there's a boxing video. Let's see if there's any. I imagine that there's probably even some of these videos where, um, it, uh, okay, Glorilla. I imagine Glorilla versus Sexy Red. Yeah, I imagine there's probably some cursing going on throughout that song. But anyways, uh, let's see some other ones. Uh, J. Cole, I imagine he probably got some cursing in his songs. Um... I don't even know, uh, there is a song that's featuring Drake, uh, Chino, um, by some, yeah, some guy named Chino, I don't know, but anyways, I imagine that song probably got some cursing in it, uh, what else, um, KSI versus Trippy Red, I imagine that song probably got some cursing in it, 
uh juice world i imagine his song probably got some cursing in it let's see some other ones dax does dax curse i don't know if dax curse but if he does then yeah i imagine his latest song got some cursing in it too but anyways but it's like you guys are demonetized i imagine that them videos ain't uh demonetized but anyways let's continue scrolling through all right well i got them at the most view let's see Okay, so they took down three of my Try Not To Laugh Challenge videos. One from 2015, one from 2018, and one from 2020. And, uh, yeah, it's just, like, the title of the videos. I mean, so, yeah, the Ultimate Prank one. So, that was the one I just named off. Then they took down one from Addict to One. And then they took down one of um, people not getting mad. And I'm thinking, or uh, or people getting mad. So, it was a Try Not To Laugh Challenge. And then it was like, yeah, that was the whole, uh, like, the um, what the video was. Was just, yeah, a bunch of people getting upset. And I'm thinking to myself, like, fam, what what is... And the crazy thing about it. So, I'm looking at the one that they took down that I'm talking about uh, with the um, funny pranks. That video only had 128 views. I wonder if I can... Hold on for a second. Let me see if... I can copy and paste that, show it in my emails when exactly that video was taken down. Because I am I am curious. I am a very... That video was taken down in 2020. So, yeah, that was along with all the other different types of... Or was that... I wonder if that was the one that they took down um, from, uh, from, like, that started it all. And there was, like, harmful and dangerous policy. My thing is this. Prank videos, okay, I feel like that an explanation for prank videos need to, you know, be established. But anyways, when you're pranking somebody, right, and I mean, that prank can be any old type of prank. It could be a jump scare prank. It can be um, hiding somebody's stuff prank. It can be, I, I'm trying to think of some, I haven't seen a lot of different crazy pranks on YouTube. I mean, there is even the one prank, and I, that video might have been taken down, but I feel like it did get a significant amount of views before it got taken down, and I imagine it's probably been re-uploaded a gang of times. But anyways, um, and even if it's probably not even available on YouTube, that's the thing that YouTube keeps forgetting. It's like, you think you're taking that video down to keep kids from watching, but it's like, do you not realize where YouTube is located at? It is located on the internet, which means that if a kid ain't gonna see whatever content they looking for on YouTube, they're gonna go to a different platform and watch those videos. So I'm saying at the end of the day, you're not really protecting anybody by taking down my content or anybody else's content. But anyways, but just to overall explain some of the pranks that I've at least seen that was like, okay, that, that was some pretty crazy pranks. So you had, I remember at one point in time, you had dudes going out in public, uh, just kissing random girls. And then, but you could tell that that stuff was acted out because the girls was like making out um, with them back. And I'm like, ain't no way that any normal girl in this day and age is most likely going to push that dude away, pepper spray him, probably try to fight with them, if not cause a scene so people can gather up and try to jump this guy. All right. But anyways, but yeah, you know, you had uh, those types of prank videos. You had the one, and I've mentioned this from time to time, where the guy would go up to random people and be like, empty your pockets. But he'd go up to some dudes that know how to fight. And then he ends up getting jumped. You had the one where the uh, guy, I was like, you know, I guess uh, I'm switching the situation from the first prank that I named off. He would go up to dudes and try to kiss them. And I remember he went up to a security guard and tried doing that. And then, uh, yeah, he ended up getting a, a clean uppercut. But it's like you had prank videos like that. You had uh, the one where the guy would go out um, into the quote unquote hood. And uh, yeah, he'll go and just be all like, he'll say words that rhyme with the N word. And so they're con like, black people are confused, of course, because they're all like, bro, what what are you doing? Like, what, what do you got going on? But anyways, and then the craziest prank that I remember um, seeing was, yeah, the one where the, uh, the guy pretended to kill his friend, I guess, to get their other friend's reaction. And, uh, yeah, bro was panicking. Bro was straight losing his mind and stuff. And I don't even think it was YouTube that was the ones that took the video down. I think it was, uh, the content creator himself that took the video down. But, um, anyways, yeah, I was like, all these different prank videos that exist on your guys' platform. And just to even go back and search up, uh, the one that, like, the one that I up. So, hold on for a second. Let me see. 
compilation all right so the search is already there so let's just see some of the ones i guess that are similar to the video that i uploaded so america's funniest home videos the like the tv show they uh it looks like they got like some sort of i don't well, know it's a, it's a try not to laugh challenge but it's uploaded onto their channel and the video uh guy um and they streamed it and it has sixty six thousand views then there's a one hour try not to laugh challenge funny prank videos and scare can fails 2024 that video has 1.2 million views then you have freak out by the fail oh so it's it's just yeah it's just like um people getting pranked and that's on the america's funniest video um home channel america's funniest home videos uh, official channel that video has 19 million views and then there's uh try not to laugh watching funny scare pranks that one has 3 million views uh ultimate scare pranks that has 14 million so the thing is this i just remember when they had took down my angry grandpa um reaction video where he was uh angry grandpa was pranking his uh son and that's why i said it's like if you guys watch uh stuff like wwe that's how angry grandpa videos were they never really said that their videos was acted out but you can tell that their videos was acted out because i'm like fam i i just remember the one video that even got me into watching angry grandpa in the first place where he was going off about um some food and he tore down his whole place and i'm like fam one thing I'm not going to do is tear down my place. And I don't know, maybe some people do some stuff like that. But I'm not going to tear down my place, the place that I need to live in for some food. All right, I can't remember what the food's like, some pecan um, swirls or twirls or something like that. I don't know. But anyways, bro flipped out, tore his place down over it. That was one of the first few videos I seen of Angry Grandpa, but that was the thing though. It entertained me. That was the whole reason for his content to even exist on YouTube. It was to entertain people. So anyways, but yeah, he did this video where he made it seem like that he poured gasoline on his son when it wasn't gasoline. He even said in the video himself that it was water and he had a rag that smelled like gasoline, all right? But anyways, um, threw, yeah, like threw the uh, rag on his uh, son, but then uh, I guess to throw him off, then started pouring the uh, water. His son just sees a gas can and liquid coming up out of it. So yeah, the son's flipping out. He's going crazy. And mind you, this, I, you know, because I feel like that some people might be all like, wait a minute, what you like i did say angry grandpa and his son and i feel like some people was like well how old was the son the son was over the age all right but and i know people would probably be all like oh well i mean if he's over age and it's like what well, you know then it's i've even seen videos of kids being pranked not to like not like this but i've seen videos of kids being pranked all right but anyways, but yeah, he uh, made it seem like he poured gasoline on them. Then he was like, oh, hi, I pranked you and all this other stuff. But the thing is, is this though. Now, I don't know who was overall uploading the videos onto the uh, Angry Grandpa channel. But I would imagine if there was anybody that was going to upload the videos, it was going to be Angry Grandpa's son. The one that was being pranked. If not him, I imagine he most likely asked, for consent of the video to be posted because if it I'm, i imagine that if uh michael his son's name didn't want the video to be posted he would have very well said hey don't post that video all right i was in a vulnerable spot i'm upset by that video don't post it i imagine that they would have had some conversation and that video would have most likely it either would have never been posted or it would have been taken down one of the two all right but anyways but yeah, it's like there's been so many different prank videos and then just with the amount of try not to laugh videos, let's just look up, regardless of whether it's the prank factor of the video or the try not to laugh factor of the video, regardless, there's a gang of prank videos that exist on your guys' platform and there's a gang of try not to laugh. You can look up try not to laugh challenge on YouTube right now. There's one try not to laugh challenge with 2.1 million views. Another one that was uploaded two days ago with 118,000 views. One uploaded three weeks ago with uh, 463,000 views. America's Funniest Home Videos, they strike again. They uploaded the Try Not To Laugh Challenge. Um, two hours of just content. of, And that video has 1.3 million views. Another one with 21 mi Or th these are just from different channels. But anyways, uh, there's one channel with 21 million views. Um, it looks like, I don't know if this is a reaction or if this is a, um, uh, like a try not to laugh. I think this might be a reaction, but anyways, um, oh yeah, this is a reaction. That video has 15 million views. 
Um, why did they? I looked up "Try Not to Laugh." Niggas like people also watch Tyler the Creator. I don't. I don't think his new music video is a "Try Not to Laugh" challenge. But anyways, um, another "Try Not to Laugh" challenge with uh, 24 million views. I'm saying like there are a gang of videos on your guys's platform where it's either "Try Not to Laugh" challenges or it's prank videos. So explain to me, how is it that you guys managed to go past all these videos with either hundreds of thousands to millions of views, far um, past a million views? But anyways, you managed to see a video with only 120... Hold on for a second. Let me see the uh, um, how many views this video got. This video had 129 views. That's what I'm trying to figure out. But anyways, yeah, overall... This is just me talking about YouTube shady guideline strike system. Because to me, that don't make no sense. You guys go past all these different types of videos on your platform. Meanwhile, and it's like, and it's small creators that's just, yeah, getting the worst end of the stick. So, anyways, hopefully YouTube does at one point in time fix this. But if not, then yeah, I'm just going to keep talking about it until it does get fixed. Because I'm like, to me, that's not fair as a content creator where I'm doing my hard work on your guys' platform. Yet, I'm just getting nothing, you know? So, but anyways, with that being said, I will talk to y'all later. Thank you guys for watching and or listening. Stay tuned for the next episode and peace.